Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get right into today's video. So I did go ahead and apply my tips off camera. These are the 3XL square non-C curve tips from Kairos Nail Supply. I will be turning these square tips into stiletto nails. So I'm taking my straight edge nail clippers and just trimming off the sides um, just to give it more... Um, will make it easier when I go in and file so I'm not over filing, just starting off in the square shape. So I did do the rest of these off camera. Um, as you can see, I have a little bit of the Sharpie at the tip of each nail. That's just me trying to pinpoint where the middle of each tip was so I can get the correct um, like center point for the stiletto point. So now I'm going in with my Tammy Taylor Pill Stick file, just shaping up the sidewalls just to give it more of that stiletto shape. I'm not going to be like over filing each nail um, because they are a bit flimsy since there's no product on it. Um, so I will be going in and filing it more in depth after I apply the acrylic. After I've filed as much as I wanted on each side um, of these nails, I'm going in with a lint-free wipe with some alcohol and just wiping off that Sharpie from the tip of the nail. Now I'm going in with my hand file and just gently blending that tip into that natural nail area. You can use a 180 grit sanding band with your e-file for this, but I just chose to use my hand file to make it faster. So for today's base, we are doing clear acrylic on all of the nails. Um, so I'm using the clear acrylic from Mel Acrylics. I do have a discount code with her. It saves you 20% on your purchases. The link is down below in the affiliates links and code section in my link tree. So I will, like I said, apply this to all of the nails and then I will pop back in when we are ready to file.
Now that our acrylic is dried, I'm going back in with my hand file and shaping up those side walls even further to get the nice point for the stiletto shape. Normally I don't do this step um, until after I do like the sealing the cuticles and filing over the surface, but I did want to go ahead and do this first so I can get my shape more on point um, before I went and did the rest of the filing. Now I'm going in with my tapered 5-in-1 drill bit and going around the cuticles just to seal everything and make sure it's all nice and flush. After that I'm going in with my 180 grit sanding band and going over the surface of the nail just to smooth it out even more before we go in with our nail art. So this is what it's looking like so far. I did go ahead and buff and clean the dust off all these nails. Now I'm here. Now I'm showing you the colors I will be using to create today's nail art. So I'm taking this red that has like a deep like pink undertone to it and adding a little bit of black to create more of a bloody type of red color. So I'm going ahead and mixing that in with the dotting tool and then I like to do the dots on the side to see if, you, if it matches the um, like color I'm going for. Next I'm adding some Madame Glam base coat just to give it more of a jelly look because that's kind of what I'm wanting for today's nail art. So here you can see it's more of like a deepish pinkish red purplish type of color. Which, I mean, I could have used, but I wanted to add a bit more of, like, red to it. So I'm taking this Melody Susie Red Gel Polish color that I have and adding just a small amount to that just to kind of give it more of a redder color, if that makes any sense. Again, just mixing it in with the dotting tool, and after I get the desired color, I will add a little bit more base coat to give it more of that jelly-like um, effect. Now that we've mixed our color, I'm taking um, just a simple liner brush that I have and just like splatting on a little bit of that red color to give it like a bloody effect. 
there's lots of different ways you can do this type of like effect with like to get the blood effect <laughs> but i'm using a liner brush and it doesn't have to be specific or anything i'm just spotting it on the nail and then like doing little strokes to create not as like um bunched up in one spot if that makes any sense so i'm doing this to all the nails and then i will be carrying that for 30 seconds and then i will be going in with a little bit more detail so with that color that we mixed previously, I did add a little bit more black to it to kind of deepen it, deepen it up. And I'm going in again and just adding that color just around um, the previous red that we mixed. It doesn't have to overlap too much. I just want to add it into a little bit of those clear spots. And then I will be doing this to all the nails and carrying it for a full 60 seconds before we go in with top coating. So this is what it's looking like so far. I did want to add more design to it, but I just honestly didn't know what to add. So I just decided to finish off here. So I'm taking my Monel's Super Gloss Top Coat and applying that to all the nails. And then after I apply it to the top surface of it, I will be flipping the hand over and apply it under the nail tip as well. Since we did have a clear base, I kind of want to make sure that it's like actually clear underneath as well. After I apply the top coat underneath the nails, I will be curing that in the light for 90 seconds to make sure it's all nice and cured. But that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!